Hello, everybody. This is Fred with One or CCTV coming at you with a quick um, talking point about the NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, or the John McCain bill um, that came out in 2019. We've seen a lot of comments and referencing um, to this bill over the last couple months. Um, there's a lot of misinformation. Um, there's a lot of confusion on the bill and what it means um, to the security uh, field. So we're going to talk about that now. Okay, folks, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. Um, yes, in 2019, the government, Congress, came out with the John S. McCain National Defense Authorization Act. Um, it's referred to as NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, or you hear it referenced to as the John McCain bill. Um, and this came out, uh, obviously, when President Trump was the president of the United States. And we are not getting political today, friends. No, we don't do that on here. Um, but he was the president and we had some issues with China and fair trade with China, um, national security and those types of things. Um, and this bill was the result of it. And that's thousands of pages long. We're not going to go over the whole thing. But we do want to cover what's pertinent to us in the security industry and in the security camera industry specifically um, is security cameras. Um, because it mentions specifically um, Hick Vision and Behua. OK, they are the two largest manufacturers of security surveillance equipment in the whole world. They OEM between their brands and who they OEM for. Um, they manufacture for probably 80 percent of the security cameras in the whole world. So this is a huge deal. And basically what this bill says is that those two products, those two manufacturers um, and the, the people they OEM for, like ADT, Tyco, um, Honeywell, um, Bosch, we'll cover the list in a little bit. Those cameras, those systems cannot be installed in federal government installations, military bases, FBI buildings, the Pentagon, places where national security is important. Um, they do not want these cameras in this um, Hilliscon chipset, um, which is manufactured um, in Shenzhen, China, the capital, the, the, the technology capital in the world. It's where all the iPhones are made, as a matter of fact. Um, but they don't want this and these cameras and this chipset in federal government buildings um, where the Chinese government um, could possibly spy on us, right? It doesn't make sense to have a Chinese product. In fact, TechVision is owned by the Chinese government. A lot of people don't know that. Um, but they don't want these cameras installed in federal facilities like like a military base, right? Um, they could be an adversary of ours in the future. We could be at war with them. We don't want them watching our military bases. No, God, no, we don't want that. Um, so that's the purpose of the bill, okay? I've heard a lot of people say that these products are banned in the United States. That is misinformation. That is wrong. They are not banned. They're sold everywhere. They're sold at ADI. You can buy it on Amazon. They're not banned. We can use them in private uh, business and small, medium-sized businesses that don't have federal government contracts and homes. Um, we are not a, uh, a Hick Vision representative. We do not get paid by Hick Vision. Okay, we install Wentworth CT, CCTV installs cameras um, from Bosch, from Access, from Honeywell, um, from all the manufacturers. We prefer to install Hick Vision for our home clients and our small business clients because those cameras offer a tremendous value to our client. Okay, they're great product. They have a great picture quality. Um, their remote viewing software is cloud-based and it's free. Um, so we stand by HickVision and, and we install HickVision. But if we do business with a federal government entity, we don't use them. We can't use them. We're sorry, but we can't use them and we understand why. So let's dive into this, okay? Let's look at the John McCain Defense Authorization Act, okay? And while we're here, let's search for our keyword HickVision, okay? Vision. All right, friends, this is what all the controversy is about right here. Um, for the purpose of public safety, security of government facilities. That's a key word. Security of government facilities right here. Security of government facilities. Okay. Physical security surveillance of critical infrastructure. 
and other national security purposes. Video surveillance and telecommunications equipment produced by Heat Vision or Dehua, okay, or any of its affiliates or such entities. That's important, folks. Because when you hear about this bill, all you hear about is Heck Vision and Dehua. Why? Because they're the huge guys. They're the industry leaders. Everybody wants to knock them down. So access um, and all these expensive camera providers, you know, they can jump in. But let's actually look for a minute. Let's look at this. These are all of the camera manufacturers um, that Heck Vision and a HUA manufacturer for. Okay, Tyco, that's ADT, Honeywell, Lorex, um, Enterlogic, Stanley, um, Bosch is on here somewhere. These are all huge companies. Alibi, um, WBOX, a lot of manufacturers are on this list. So we're not just talking, there's Bosch right there, or, or Panasonic, we're just not talking about Heck Vision and um, a HUA. OK, we're talking about 80 percent of the cameras out there. OK, um, so this is a big deal. If you install security cameras or if you own a business that does business with the federal government, you cannot install any of these guys. OK, you need to go to access um, or you need to pull up. You can Google um, NDAA compliant OK, security cameras, and it will give you a list of cameras. Um, Honeywell is on this list, but they, manu they manufacture a NDAA compliant line, okay, with a different uh, chipset. Um, but Google it and do due diligence and find out what you need to install in your facility. Um, but I wanted to reiterate something because this comes back to our brand and our name. These products are not illegal in the United States. They are perfectly fine to be installed in homes and small businesses that do not do business with the federal government, okay? If you're an installer that does deal with a federal government institution, you need to check because most likely you cannot install these cameras there. You can't do it. You get in trouble. They'll get in trouble. It'll be a bad deal, okay? So do due diligence. As always, like our video. Please like our video if you like it. Subscribe to our channel. We're a growing channel, and we like to bring good information to you with this. Um, we will also post links to the John McCain bill and to this OEM directory um, on this video. Um, so for now, have a good day, and we'll see you in the field.